This was our first show for the Justin Timberlake 2020 tour. No way. Yeah. So we had to pack in this electric drum kit. And we started setting it up there because we wouldn't have time once we got into the stadium. And we were like, we only had like an hour left or two hours left before before soundcheck. And we were about an hour and a half out. Our manager ran to the bank to get the money to to pay for the, the whatever we had left. I was running down like to every auto shop to see if anybody would, we could hire somebody to drive us because all the... The Ubers and the lifts were all small. One got construction guy, and it's you know what, construction guys are always just cool people, man. Okay. He goes, he goes like, you guys need a lift? He's like, it's completely out out of my way by by forty five miles, and he he drove us all the way in to the stadium, right into the our stage. We unloaded. We had fifteen minutes before doors open. We put the thing up there, plugged it in. Jerome just hit it once. We're like, all right, good to go. Unleashed with the Dingo and Danny, fueled by Monster Energy. Oh, so that's uh, how it's done. Now this is where we like freeze up. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. So, yes. Common King. So I met you guys. I- I've actually not known about you guys for a while, but I introduced you guys in Vegas. Yes. And then I was trying to think: was there somewhere else we hung out? Maybe not. No. Maybe no, at a well, strip at club the bar. Right, your memory would be better than mine right I now. I know. I feel like no. I feel like our memories are very. <laughs> they were both fucked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what I wanted to do quick because there's so many I've never done anything like this. This is Danny Cash right here. Hello. Two time Danny. Silver medalist oh. and just reigner of coolness. Wow, you didn't tell us that before this interview. That's why I knew well, well, you guys a fanboy out before we started the. Uh, oh my goodness! Uh, podcast. I all of a sudden just sweaty. froze myself right now. <laughs> what? Because I know who Danny Cass is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to go around and just got kind of like you guys Shit. all say your real names so then we can like you know start it off. Mata, Uncle Louie, Uncle Louie, Big Rome, Junior King, Dingo. Now we're good. <laughs> yeah. Damn, now we can that. do whatever we want. <laughs> now we can do whatever okay. we want. But you guys are all from Cali. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. By way of Hawaii. Well, yeah, because it doesn't South like, Pacific. Yeah. Like it's all South Pacific, wide, yep. Hawaii, all Hawaiian roots or no. other no. islands. Um, I'm Hawaiian Samoan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Samoan. Tongan. I'm from Fiji. We're the Polynesian Beatles. Right. Together yeah, we're Captain that's, Planet. That's actually. Yeah. I'd rather be the Polynesian Beatles than the Beatles. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I would too. Polynesian <laughs> video is bigger than yeah, that. it is. Yeah, Poly- we literally yeah. have done a show at all our different islands of where we're from, no and they, yeah. they will go yeah. nuts from uh, Ivan because he, and Fiji they'll go crazy when we're in Tonga. They go crazy for Rome, Samoa. They know me, and then Hawaii Jr. just runs it. So I was like, man, we're like the Polynesian Beatles. Which one rages? Which 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 like which island rages the hardest? Uh, I'd That'll say be, Hawaii. Say Hawaii. Yeah, right. Hawaii. Just yeah. because hard, they go hard. Wow. You guys would love it. We should do Drink a show hard, there. Fight hard. Yeah. All of it hard. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. They're just monsters and everything. Man, it's 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 crazy because like um and then you guys but all live here in California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we all met here. Met here. How? How did you guys all meet? Was there like some like at a barbecue that- actually? <laughs> I put a uh, Add on Craigslist. Craigslist. I don't know if anyone remembers that. <laughs> no, Craigslist. Oh, is yeah. still a thing. It was oh, yeah, that's a thing. It was still a thing. Yeah, yeah. sell pots, car pots, and like random yeah. stuff. Maybe MySpace. Still anybody? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> MySpace. Oh, yeah. Right <laughs> no, but he actually, I knew everybody individually, yep. and then uh, I met uh, the, our keyboardist at the time was living with Ivan in Newport on 48th and Seashore, right behind yeah, Dennis Rodman. He lived right behind Dennis Rodman, and Dennis partied. We uh, didn't party at Dude, all. 4th of July in Newport. Rages. Rage. Yeah. I remember we used to go to Bro. the US Open to surf. You were someone to surf down there and it used to rage. Yeah, yeah dude. We, we sailed a yacht behind there once and we used to have a company called Grenade. And we sailed the yacht and we had a big grenade on the on the yeah. sail of the yacht and we turned around. That's where and boats and hose originated. Yeah, we like we like, that's we right. like bombarded the open and then Volcom stole our move from us and that's when Volcom started saying the Volcom oh. shit. Oh, so that didn't come from them. That came from us. <laughs> well, there you heard it first, folks. <laughs> just right a couple. Here. Just a couple. I know where that patented. Yeah, it out that's dope. There. But it, that that it's a uh, you know that's a. Uh, they, I mean, you're, it's it's not as big as it used to be, right? Like they changed, they didn't they shut it down because you guys like you know what they they, they did. So I haven't been there back yeah, there in, in a in a long time since I moved out. But uh, from what I hear, they they kind of like tap her down. On it's it tamed. It's tamed. Yeah, it's not it, what it used to it be. Was wild, wild west. It was like girls gone wild. 
on the strip with, yes. Dennis, with Dennis Rodman. With, with Dennis, Dennis Rodman. Rodman. Yeah. Man, it must have been crazy living behind him. We did the gumball rally with him, and I did six days with him, and that's probably enough. Oh, yeah. Enough. Bro. <laughs> six days. That's, yeah. That's, that's light, a, lifetime. a lifetime. That's, a, that's lightweight for him. He yeah. had his he house on the hard. beach, and then it was just – he had limousine tent. You can you can only see out. You can't see what was going in, and it was like a nightclub. His whole house was yeah, a nightclub. Whole, oh, wait, he just, had a limo tent on his house? In yeah. his house, bro. Oh, that's sketchy. Dude, yeah. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> But smart though, for yeah. You know, I mean, right? if you're Dennis Rodman, it's probably smart. Yeah, <laughs> remember we were too cancel culture happened a long time ago. Oh, Jeez, bro, uh, he's lucky. Neighbors hated him. Helicopters just coming in in the middle of the night, dropping in. I'm just like, had, whoa, had major rage. And then he owned that nightclub, Josh Slocum's, where God knows what was going back there, going on back there. <laughs> Is he still there? Does he still live no, there? No, he, he moved out. Oh, he did? He's yeah. still, like he's out of is he still in Orange County? I think he's, I, you know what? I don't know. I think he still is in Orange County. So where, Um. so you <clears> you <throat> got his, everyone to your house, got everyone to, to the his house, you, to your yeah. house, yep. to house, and said, we're, we're, we're starting a band. Oh, no. They just say, hey, I got food, and boom. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you have to say. Food is the precursor. Yep. And he so said, like, hey, why don't you bring your guitar? Yep. And then yeah. you guys started jamming at the house that night? Started yep. jamming at the started house. Jamming. And then we're like, dude, you guys are pretty good. We should start a band. He had, his voice was insane. Yeah. You, you literally put like, a, you know, 10 cans behind him. Yeah. Our never, right? You didn't really like to sing famous. until girls <laughs> kind of liked the pretty guys much, singing. And, you know, the girls did it for me, man. They set me up. <laughs> yep. It was a rap. <laughs> yeah. Be like beat on cardboard, and he'd sing like it's the most amazing band ever. Yeah, when he figured out girls love the guys singing, he he wouldn't stop singing. Yeah. He just okay, you can shut up now. Shiz, bro. Like <laughs> save us some. <laughs> so when did you guys play your first show? Two thousand shortly after one. that. Yeah, we San Diego. Even, what year was this? Two thousand and one, two thousand two. Whoa! But not as Common Kings. Yeah. What was the we name of like that group? What was that group? This started off as well. Well, back then we didn't have a name. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like <laughs> the Orange County Boys. The, yeah. yeah the, County the, boys. <laughs> Dennis Robbins' <laughs> neighbors. Yeah. 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 Dennis <laughs> Robbins' neighbors. The, <laughs> Dennis Robbins' brown neighbors. <laughs> we called the address. Called it the address. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have a name, and then we just started as a cover band. Doing the whole kind of uh, college run throughout the coast, but we didn't officially start Common Kings uh, till like 2011, 2012. You won what? Every Battle of the Bands. So like Battle of the Bands, you're competing against all types, not just reggae types. Yeah, yeah. every types. single. We went to UC Irvine, Waze and, Goose, and then we grew up there. We had Waze Goose reggae, uh, reggae fest, but they always had these college Battle of the Bands, and uh, we would always submit, and we We'd took every one. That's cool. Yeah. And then when did you guys, so Common Kings came in 2011. That was like a long time not to have a band name. Yeah. We, yeah. No, we had a band name. We're trying to skip the middle part yeah. where we did have a band name. Long and everybody yeah, messes boys. up. It was originally called Not Too Soul. It was Latin for native son. Don't ask us why we chose that. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of probably figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, between Nacho Soul and Natural Soul, Nacho Soul, Soul. Natural Soul. Natural Soul. Natural. no one can yeah. pronounce it. Can, can, you, can you say? Can you yeah. say your name again? Yeah, like, not, it's not it too just, soul. It's like, guys, let's just make it easy for people. Yeah, not, not too good. Common yeah. Kings. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember that. That works. No, we had basically our fifth member of the band join us, who's now our manager, but was the homies first, and the very first thing said, "We got to change is 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 your name," and I said, "Shut your mouth." Yeah, blasphemy. You're get out of here. So then you kicked him out of the band. Uh, yeah, yeah, you kicked him out. You're the manager, yeah. Yeah. dude. You're, I said you're stupid. You're dumb. You don't know what you're talking you're about. Stupid. You don't have money. Yeah, yeah. handle our money. Yeah. Our fifteen fans are gonna yeah. Yeah. hate us if yeah. we change our My name. My mom loves that name. <laughs> How are we supposed to change the IP? There's so much moving parts. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Know. Everyone's gonna be confused. Corporate cover, cover. They're not gonna uh, hear us again. It worked out for Diddy. Yeah, <laughs> but, but when he writes his name, it's Diddy P. He doesn't know what his name is. Yeah, it's just confused. I think when you're at that level, you can change it, and everybody still knows who you are. Right, <laughs> but I feel like he made a career off it. Yeah, yeah changing his name. Hey, man, gay Kanye or Con Kanye? Yeah, right, oh, yeah. Kanye did too. Man, I miss Kanye. Oh, dude, Prince started it off. He did, right? Well, Prince yeah. just ended with a symbol. Yeah, that's when you know it. you're that dope. That's when yeah, you know, Prince dude. and Madonna are kind of. You said, like, "What's my name?" Gets any bigger? Right yeah. here. That's but Madonna my name. just talks with like a, a fake accent, which yeah, weirds me that? out. Like, what uh, is that? What I, I remember know. the amount of work on her face. Do you know she was trying to hit up one of my friends recently? That's like 26, 27. What guy? Yeah. And he didn't do it because he was like, he's, 
in he's in love with his girlfriend. He's but he's Mormon. Yeah, he's not. Uh, <laughs> no. But I, I still couldn't understand it. I was like, why wouldn't you just tell her it's more like a business transaction, and I'm just gonna go hang with Madonna for a week. Yeah. And then we're good forever. Ever. <laughs> <And> set, <laughs> I mean, think of this. Listen, it's like <laughs> this is a transaction. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a transaction. It is. How often are you in that position? <laughs> um. Mm, all right. So uh, there's a huge gap between when you guys didn't have a name, had a name. When 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 when, when did you guys start like touring around? Was it America you first started kind of touring around? Yep. I'm like, what areas are like more? Prominent. I'm, but like, there's got to be some states that are like, no, nah, we're not really reggae states. Yeah, we're South like, Dakota was never really on <laughs> the map. Didn't quite show up when there. we. Yeah. <laughs> no, to me, uh, you know what? I think it was. I think Montana, Bozeman, Montana, was always had like the Billings, the weakest, Bozeman, yeah, Billings the Montana Bozeman. scene wasn't too strong back then. But, but those people that were there had oh, the time of their lives. Yeah, the people that did show up, the the 17 people that showed up, <laughs> they had an amazing time. Yeah. But we dropped our, uh, we actually broke through Hawaii. You know, yeah. we have a lot of ties back in Hawaii. Yeah. And we dropped our first single there. And then kind of, we dropped uh, two other records that were really big. And it's still big out there. But Hawaii really helped us put yeah. us on the yeah. map. Yeah. And then from there, we went back to Cali. But we toured a lot of the South Pacific, uh, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, and then we came back to, to the coast over here in, in North America and did the whole North America run. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who were your guys as kind of like idols or like inspiration? Tenacious D. Yep. Love I mean, that. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I wish they, would they do? Did they? I wish they'd make a second one. Bro, I heard an I interview with Jack Black. I tell people that all the time. I heard an interview the with Jack Black kind of like he, someone was. Was asking. he hinting a little? No, no, no. Oh. He was basically saying in the era it is now, and we had that same com kind of conversation with Ice Cube. He was basically saying in this interview that studios wouldn't want to like big studios don't want to put money behind something like that because they know it's more of a a culture just like, a, yeah it's not a, it's, it's not a big it's, it's not, more of a, a niche audience yeah, thing yeah. but the niche audience are the people that yeah die the, for the most loyal yeah, exactly, that will pay right? every, yeah. i'm well, surprised like netflix or uh, these streaming companies haven't picked up i mean well i mean because it's probably it's probably owned by like the studio the uh, net, like whoever owns it it's like under one of those big umbrellas mm -hmm. So okay. it's like he's like it's, just, it's not it's not it's not even it's, worth it. It's not worth it. It's like an album that gets shelved. Yeah, but like I mean, Tenacious D as a band was kind of fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah sick. bro, Kyle so and different. Jack just right? murdered it when they came out. We were in college when that album came out. I was like, yo, this is probably the coolest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever heard. Right, love them. Yeah, so. but like a lot of different inspirations. You know, he, uh, Jr. is really R and B driven. Growing up, doing a lot of R and B. My dad was a um, musician all his life, so I, I listened to a <clears> lot of singer songwriters. You know, Jim Croce, uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Steve Miller Band, all that. Yeah. And Ivan, what are your influences aside from? Aside from, from uh, Britney Spears. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> we can talk about Britney. We're all Britney fans here. Major. Britney's I can major. Tell you a story. I can tell you a funny story. Her dad used to come to NASCAR with us. Yeah. And he, uh, Papa Spears, and he'd have a big Papa cup. Papa Spears. I'm not going to say it was in the cup, but he had a giant cup, and it was a picture of Britney on one side and a picture of Jamie Lynn on the other side, and it said, Daddy's Little Girl. Oh, my. <laughs> giant, like, like wow. seven. I don't know why that's just up. so odd to that me. That seems yeah. kind of creepy. At a NASCAR I was thinking event. creepy, too. But that's he would, little... like, low key, though, he would bring this trailer in and, like, Southern Cook. He had this, like, $80,000 trailer, like, that's a barbecue. Sick. And he would just like cook us like something. Oh, well, then he's like, cool. Okay, yeah. I mean, kind of, cool. man. <laughs> okay, it makes sense now. Big ribs? He's cool. He, check, yeah. he checks I mean, out, dude. He knows mm -hmm. how to feed people. Like, oh, that's cool. I'll look past the weird mug. Yeah, definitely. He's got a, he's got a dope <laughs> barbecue rig in the back. You want anything for food? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think you guys kind of get the. <laughs> I mean, you guys just, must yeah, like run across some like pretty cool food, like around festivals and just oh, traveling yeah. on the road and yep. going to like different destinations. Like, that's what I love about traveling. You know, I'm going to Texas next week, and I'm like excited just to like barbecue eat. Oh, oh yeah. man, bro, that's yeah. a must when right? you go to Texas. Food. Texas barbecue is real. You guys just played um, Kelly Roots Fest. Yeah. Yep. How's that? It's freaking man, amazing. Dude. That was a. Uh, he raves till like 5 a.m. every morning. I feel like me and you are like. Just, you know what I mean? I don't it's I mean. It's, it's, like it's, 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 it's like we have. It's like we have. What's behind the yeah. sunglasses? Yeah. It's like we have yeah. ESPN Just don't take it off and lock eyes. That'll be weird. <laughs> the moment we take it off, the podcast is just between yeah. you and I, Dingo. Keep the sunglasses on. I'm good. For the kids. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah, right. It must be nice. Uh, I mean, it's good that festivals are back. Like, even though some stuff kind of came back last year, it was still weird. 
Yeah, it yeah, was. It's yeah, like it kind wasn't. of not as weird it's like half now. Even the one, the beginning of this year. The you know, big, the big yeah. Cali vibes Still one. weird. Yeah, like three weeks before, they're still like talking about whether or not it was still going to go on. I know, right? Well, and like, then Coachella just came out. Yeah, Instagram. and then Coachella. Yeah. We're not testing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> COVID's over. Yeah, yeah. while well, the Super Bowl holds 90,000 people in LA. That's just the like, was, that, that was the, the tipping point. Like, yeah. cause like, I remember in, we know the people that built the stage for that, like that giant stage. At SoFi? Which, like, I got, it cost about, they said it cost like $3 million for that stage. Jeez. And they got, they got the state, they got them on the phone in, I think it was like the first week of January. So when Super Bowl, second week of Feb. Yeah. So they got on the phone and they were basically For the halftime like, show? Halftime show. And that's when they were talking to Dallas to have the Super Bowl in Dallas. Yeah. And oh, there was like, wow. they literally got on the phone with these people. They, and they're no. like, so um, you're going to have to. Uh, and they built it like where they built that stage. It was right in Inglewood. So they just had to drive it. Wow. Like 15 minutes. And they were like, so you're probably going to have to drive this stage to Dallas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been another $3 million. Yeah. <laughs> all like, what, all really? of a sudden, they lifted all the and tests. And then I also <laughs> know people that like, like, and it was pretty smart, but a, bu a bunch of people bought these boxes and the boxes like throughout the year they could sell them for whatnot but like the boxes they were selling these boxes these executive suites that had like 20 seats in them they catered food you guys have been there. oh wow like sporting like yeah yeah, like, yeah like people were selling those boxes between like 1.1 and 1.5 million dollars so they were already been pre-sold out and people did that knowing the super bowl was going to be there so if the super bowl oh was going to move those people God. just would have lost, lost oh, oh shoot. it was just a crazy like if it had it happened weird, it would have just been like yeah it would have been so bad there but was no LA way county fucking you know la county had made their rules but i think also like having you know all the governors and mayors and all these people like pictures of them at the sporting events with no masks on, drinks in hand. Like Dude. Oh, it was yeah. kind of corrupt. It was a little, it was a little weird. It was tough to watch. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. mean, you got to imagine too. For us, like we had a huge, huge, huge summer tour for 2020 that was planned. Our, whole, our whole livelihood just literally went into the trash can. And then it, when you see that shit, we're like, bro, what? And then yeah. like, Coachella posted their thing, like you know, you know, no mandatory anything. We're like, dude, we just like went zero to hundred real quick. Two years, yeah, and then they're just fucking. This is what they're doing. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit. Yeah, and like the thing too, especially in your guys's industry, like, you know, there are so many. There's so many other people that it's not just you guys as a team. Oh yeah, you know? yeah and you've crew. got your roadies and your crew. Oh, and absolutely. And like, there's nothing to take care of them. Like they're all asked yeah. out, which is like no. super sad. Yeah. They they we yeah. lost at least like I would say like forty to fifty percent of the, of people's crews. Yeah. are not coming back. They all found something different during that, that time. That sucks. Yeah. Like, well, I, and then because it's job security too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's like something that was you know never really had a hurdle, not in our lifetime anyway. Mm -mm. Is now like they got to think about that because they've got you, you know, kids to feed to. and yeah, it's a it's a weird world. I I, I really hope we don't go backwards. No. You just never know. Yeah, I hope so either. I mean, like, it, it's it, what 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 the Cali Fest uh, festival this past year, and then Cali Roots. I mean, it just kind of solidified. Like, live music is just there's just something different Essential. about it. Yeah. You know, people it it, sure. it it connects to people way differently on a whole like spiritual level. That you know, it's you can tell that everybody was missing it. Yeah, and oh yeah, you know, anybody absolutely. wants to go back to not having it. Well, it just brings us together. It's yeah. like, it's it's one of those things where it's, uh, you know, especially being tied up for, for so long everywhere. You know, we were talking about it before the show, like Australia, where I'm from. Yeah. Man, like, they really had it bad. And like I said, when I went home for the first time, it was like, it was weird. You could really see that they'd been like, they, you know, they'd been living under shelter. Yeah. And it's like, it's almost like when they go to do things they're like i had a few friends come here and obviously we're open here and you can see they're right. weird about like oh are we allowed to and it's like fucking hell <laughs> dude you know, that is good crazy. Crazy. that's uh weird. so ha, ha, what uh how many ha, like cali roots like ha, how ha, how packed right i saw some footage yeah, we were there all four days. It's the yeah, first wow. time ever doing that. Do people camp out there? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I love how camping has become like the, a <clears throat> staple. Right? For yeah. They were glamping. Yeah. yeah, they had fully furnished tents that you could with Wi-Fi. Yeah, blew what's, my mind. What's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> what's the Wi-Fi? But yeah, it was. We raged. We took that whole party over. We, we maximized. made the most of it. Yep. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Saw so all the bands that we wanted to see. We like usually we just come in and out, you know. But w it's been two years. We saw the lineup. We said these are all the homies. Like, yeah. dude, let's stay and Who watch. Who else was on their lineup? Yeah. Ice Cube, bro. Ice Sean Cube Paul. was bad. He's Did he bring out Little John? No. no. I saw footage just, of that somewhere else. 
Matt, oh, yeah. just Dub C. Yeah, okay. that was there. Um, Junior Gong, Damon Marley, uh, Sean Paul. Who else? Yeah, Dirty Heads. Dirty heads. We Dirty jumped heads. on their set. Slightly Our stupid. boy Slightly oh, Stupid. Did? Revolution. Stupid. Yeah, they're monster guys. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys traveled with them before? No, no. Yeah. we just cut a record with them on their new album. You guys are like the Orange County. Like, I know. We on. just no. Yeah. We realized that after we've been in these sessions these last couple of months, like, dude, you guys are kind of cool. And then we're like, dude, you guys are kind of cool. I was like, we should just go on tour together. I was like, yeah, we should. And they were just like, dude, you guys never, we never really. Our paths you know, never crossed. Never. Right. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. But the way it worked. Little, I mean, the music's, I mean, Dirty Heads is kind of a little reggae. No, no, are absolutely. They class, are they classed as reggae? No. They're, they're no, like. It's like more hip hop. Uh, hip hop reggae. reggae yeah, pop. Like pop Fusion. reggae. Fusion. With a bit of rock. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, they're definitely. dope. The boys, we've known them for a while. We just never really kind of set anything together. But after this uh, song we put together. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely looking yeah, to man. do something songs. together. They're, we got we're on a song on our track, our album, and yep. we're on. That yeah, we're on. Yeah. So, good guys. Yeah, they are awesome. What's like one of the best like collaborations you guys ever done, or something that was like a full checklist? Dick, Stephen Marley, Stephen Marley, Stephen yeah. Marley. yep, the Anything general, the Marley Brothers, yep. You know, have next. you guys have you guys done like been down to Jamaica much? We went. We did there a couple of times. Uh, we did. Uh, what was the name of the festival? With, with the Revolution, right side, Revolution, Right Side, Right Side, Right Side, right side, side Festival. festival. Yeah. So it's a Revolutions Festival that they have in Jamaica at a, a all inclusive hotel. Yeah, resort. yeah. So we did that. That was our first time there. But Jihar, when did you go there? Yeah, yeah. We, we went. Um, us, me, myself, and our manager, uh, we went in like 2015. We got to really do the whole Jamaica experience, like Kingston, like the real yeah. Tough Gong. We I recorded a couple songs at Tough Gong, and no yeah, with some of their studio musicians and. Such an epic spot, dude. For how reggae, was, how was the driving again? You said over there, crazy, dude. They don't stay in the line. Bro. Like there's people on the street, and they're just like driving on this side when traffic's coming this way. And <laughs> it's like Fiji. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no rules, right? Yeah. We did a fun trip to Jamaica. We took a we took a bunch of people there. Yeah, we did a <clears throat> an event, Grenade Games, and then we gave out eight different awards where we brought eight different people down to Jamaica, and I went like a. A week or two before to like meet this contact this guy you know that i got from a friend and it turned into like one of the craziest trips ever i mean wow we, we were like back 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 where there's like i don't think there's much electricity people live in oh wow uh, they're big bag trash bags of like you know what and then <laughs> and then uh and then we like killed a goat and ate it well we bought what? a goat we, we bought a goat and then we killed it and ate it was it a wow. sacrificial it was yeah. oh. it was really crazy and i had to tell Did you drink the blood i was like you I may not want to come oh. mm. like we'll, well come back that's it now. <laughs> nice. so you technically but have they did they cut off the testicles right away and then made a little fire with like a few bricks all right that's like a delicacy right away some I mean, really? it tasted fine. like a big chicken <laughs> nugget. <laughs> big chicken nugget? Yeah, like a big chicken nugget yeah. without the breading. I'm That's down. usually Once what it tastes like when I eat it. There was a lot of blood. Yeah. A lot of blood. <laughs> but he cooked up this curry and it was so good. I was going to say mean, goat it curry. Was like, it was uh, so next level. Yeah. You guys are goat the goats. Curry. The goats. <laughs> We're the goats. goats. Just eating the goats. The that diet goats. is in, by the way. It's like that primal whole diet. Oh, it is? Yeah. Eating like, it's what is it? Nose to tail? Yeah. There's I'm thing. I'm in on that. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm not. I tried vegan. It wasn't me. I got really skinny though. Really? Yeah, because you just like stop eating. You're like, wow, there's not much to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Fries. <laughs> well, believe it or not, I was vegan too. And I did not. you get skinny? Uh, yeah, I, I did actually. It's crazy. It's probably but good for you. It's like still bigger it's than different. everybody else. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Polynesian skinny is a different type of skinny. Let's, yeah. you know, there's 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 regular skinny and then yeah. there's Polynesian skinny. We uh, hold 250 pounds like it was 180 pounds. To you yeah, guys. you get down to like in the low twos and like you need to eat. Yeah. <laughs> the low twos. Yeah. You're looking very skinny. Yeah. yeah. You Eating below you, 250. It's like, are, are you okay? okay? <laughs> you doing, dude? The, are you sick? <laughs> Dude, you know? are you on it right speaking, now? What do you want? Speaking of the stuff, we, we whenever we're out and about, a lot of our boys would be coming up to us, and we're just oblivious. And he goes up oh, to, to yeah. Ivan in different shows, like, "Hey, bro, do you ski?" And he's like, "No, bro, I snowboard." <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a true story. <laughs> They're like, oh crap. And then I'm like, I'm looking at him and I know what he's asking for. <laughs> the best thing is, is like you probably bamboozle them and they're like, yeah. no, what is that? Yeah. Oh, they're they're like, their eyes are blown. They, they're just they, like, they were pretty clear and what? I wasn't. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> he kept asking. He's like, no, I mean, do you ski? He's like, no, bro. Like, next like, level, since, bro. since I was 16, no. I was snowboard, bro. I tried, I tried skiing like, once the whole nine. and it just wasn't for me. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, you know, we just shook hands. Like, you know what, bro? You guys are some good guys. I'm going to yeah. go on this way and find some skiers. I was like, there should be some skiers by that that side of the, the, sure the yeah. yeah. is over there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I went you back to the bus and I'm like, dude, it's so dude. weird. It's the middle of summer in there. I know. Why school. are they? <laughs> dude. I was like, it's June. There's not well, like, any slopes available. He's like, he's like I literally nobody corrected me until like a year later. Yeah, bro. They're like, by the way, skiing is like, oh. oh. <laughs> So, then we asked, so, so what snowboarding? He's like, that's yeah. nothing. It's just snowboarding. <laughs> that's so you do funny. fatter lines? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Right. Big so spoons. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody tries to fi figure out what we're on. It's just we're on a natural high. Food. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. In Cali, uh, Cali, uh, Cali Roots, everybody was tripping out on how hard he was going for like four days straight until like 4 a.m. every morning. Yeah. We even went up to go, woke up at 7 a.m. to go golfing. He's still up. Oh, yeah. When he's... That's was the best up. part about camping. I did the same thing, man. If you want to, you want to take it all in. The best way to take it all in is take it all in. Yeah, take it all in. Yeah, you gotta be in it. You gotta submerge yourself in it. You Absolutely, become, you become part of the, you know, the, the, the whole experience. Exactly. Yeah. So I, Blood I, Brothers just yeah, you're in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of skiing and snowboarding, we actually used to back in the day. Uh, Justin Timberlake would uh, come to Mammoth snowboarding, and we 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 hung out with him. For, for a while, him and his, his mom and a bunch of his, like, friends and whatnot. Um, and we saw so, that you guys toured with him on that yeah. 20 oh, yeah. tour. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I wanted to speak about that experience because, you know, like, I, like when he started hanging out with us, snowboarders was like, that guy's a loser. That guy's, like, kind of made fun of it. But he started wearing grenade products and, like, what, whatever else. And then he made his own company that kind of looked like ours a little bit. And then he also, both of our girlfriends ended up on tour with him once. <laughs> you guys might have met him. Yeah, that's all right. To get to the point, Dingo, we're our girlfriends on tour in 2020 with beauty. you guys. Here, Wait, look at these photos. Is her name? Oh, yeah. the back John Singer's name? Oh, Zenya. Do you know Zenya? Zenya? She's from Australia. She's from Australia. She sang yeah. back up. She sang back. back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. No, uh, no. We, met that that was, we met him. That like would have been so no, funny. We met him in like 2004 or five. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Got it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's right around Justin Justified. Hunter, who's like his best friend I'm still like friends with. And Sick. yeah, like it's like in every week we need like tickets or anything. They still kind of hook it up. But it was pretty funny. Both of our girlfriends ended up on. I don't think it was that tour. I think it was the one before it. It was uh, like, he was still like the... 2000. It was like 2009 or 10 or 8 or around, like the Sexy Back. That was the yeah. tour they were on. Yeah. When he was. Uh, when, when he was. <laughs> when he was I don't even think in. he had a girlfriend at the time. Wait, That's wait. his first song. No. <laughs> yeah. But he he was cool. Wow, I saw that you guys like that. Like that's a production. Oh, bro, oh, yeah. dude, that's what you know. There's touring the yep. for us. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, um, that tour was uh, that tour was nuts. And what leg did you guys do? Like, was it the Australia tour? Oh, it was just Australia. 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 So you were playing like, like the big arenas, tennis yeah. center. Eddie had all, yeah, Eddie yeah. had. Wow, that was yeah, our first bro, show. That was dude, our, in Melbourne, dude, you break down the story, Ivan. Tell them the story. All yeah, right. we told you guys a story. <laughs> Share the story. Well, man. I mean, our story is more on like the production side. Okay, so, cool, cool, cool. So, no, so it's it, pretty epic. But it, it it was. I mean, we when we got there, obviously, you know, the stadium was just ginormous, and so when we got there, was the roof open or closed? It, it was, was closed, closed because it was raining. Probably. Yeah. There was so, also on fire. The well, roof. We, we got there. They were already setting up the, you know, his whole production, which was gigantic, and so we're sitting there, just <clears> kind of like taking it all in. And he comes walking up, and we're surprised to see him because you, you usually you don't see a list JT that is artist, you know, there when they're setting up the stage and stuff like that. So, we weren't nervous. So yeah, so he was there, <laughs> and he comes walking over, and the first thing he says to us is like, "Man, thank you guys so much for being on this tour. Whatever you guys need, let me know, and have as much fun as you guys, you know, like." Hope you guys have an amazing time. Stan girly, yeah. yeah, bro. And so we were everything like, I thought about Stan it. Girl I went down the, fell in love with him, <laughs> again. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, like that one, we just had, we had to grow up quick. You know, we had like uh, some like issues with our drums. We had live drums and there was an issue with like 
where the speakers were set the up. The delay. We were in front. So every time you hear the, the you know, a snap, it was like a second later, you would hear it coming from the PA. And just so, sound like chaos. It just, yeah, just it just sounded like horrible. Just really but in bad. our in ears, it sounds like we're all on time. It sounds great. And then our manager's oh, like, stop. Yeah, because yeah, they had two stop, different stages, stop. right? So had he had stages. the main stage and then the yeah. small stage, like in front of the PA. Is where it's we like played. around a bar and he this thing, there's a lift that goes all the way to the other stage. And then that's where we were. But yeah, it was just, there's no sound that was bouncing off, right? So it was just yeah. so bad. Our first show, we had to play the drums on a drum pad. So we had this big old drum kit set up. You're playing on a drum pad. And then he's over here I'm going over here playing on a drum pad. Drum pad. Yeah. <laughs> because, the yeah, the entire, our, our first Nobody set. could see it though, right? Oh, you can see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, it was, he's it was literally on a, The doors were open. He's thousands thousands of people. People. literally on a, a, a his a riser drum was like riser. higher than everybody. All these drums and he's just he's drum, like, playing on the drum yeah, pad. This is like he's still warming up. Yeah, I was like, when's he going to start? Yeah, when's he going to start playing the drums? Yeah. So that that next day we I forget where we drove, but we drove to the one Pond music shop. store that had an electric drum kit. We put all our premiums together. And we put all our premiums together. It was like eight thousand dollars or something like Whoa. that for the you whole guys tour. Put your lunch food, your yeah, yeah. 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 money. We were, put in their food money. Yeah, yeah. We, we called the lifeline. We're not eating no. for the rest of the tour. Yeah. And whoever Whoa. can get Top into Justin's ramen. trailer steal whatever's in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that was make me. sure you make it to yeah. catering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we never miss catering. But we put all our money and bought these electric drum set, the V drums, the rolling V drums. Would have been expensive too in Australia. Oh yeah, it was around seventy five hundred bucks. Then uh, after we bought it, we had to get back to the stadium in time. And we were like, we only had like an hour left or two hours left before before soundcheck. And we were about an hour and a half out. And so we were, we I was running it, down. Bro. Our manager ran. I to know the he bank. was running, believe it or not. Bank to, to, yeah, because the banks were closed. So he yeah. ran to the bank to get the money to, to pay for the, the whatever we had left. And then I was running down like to every auto shop to see if anybody would, we could hire somebody to drive us because all the, the Ubers and the lifts were all small, and then we had to pack everything in, this, in Australia is small. Yes, yeah, so we yeah. had to pack in this electric drum kit. And we started setting it up there because we wouldn't have time once we got into the stadium to, the venue, yeah. to put it all together. So we started setting it up there. So anyway, some one got construction guy, and it's you know what construction guys are always just cool people, man. Hundred percent. He goes, he goes like, you guys need a lift. He's like, it's completely out out of my way by by forty five miles, and he he drove us all the way in to the stadium right into the our stage we unloaded we had 15 minutes before doors open we put the thing up there plugged it in jerome just hit it once we're like all right good to go yeah. change your clothes and get back yeah. change on our stage. clothes and we this came was back our first show on. for the justin timberlake yeah. stadium, 2020 bro. tour no way. yeah that was our experience and then johnny wright justin timberlake from day one saw what we did and said you know what man Kudos to you guys. That speaks volumes. Respect you guys yeah, we being so professional with yeah. the whole situation, with all the chaos. And but when we earned their respect, and the rest was yeah, we're still good friends. Their yep. horn section plays yeah, with us. The regiment the, horns. The, yeah, the wow. regiment horns. Uh, the, the Tennessee kids. Yeah, they they play with us for big shows. Really good all the family. For us. Yeah. And you guys are probably pretty big in Australia now, then too. We have a we have a solid following. Yeah. They're like the number two. Most stream, yeah, most stream. Yeah. Like when we look at our analytics, yeah, yeah. You know what tripped us out about Australia is the ratio of men to women. Well, and good-looking women. That's yeah. what it's tripped Australia. us out, bro. Yeah. That, that I was part. like, yo, it that was like part. five. Well, he to said one. that with his chest. Did you hear how he said that? It's like, <laughs> I'm good-looking like, women. <laughs> There's like girls that it's are like wild. nines or tens, or even eights, to like dudes that are fours or fives I'm like what in the world and then they see us back well, then i was like work out Girl, you know yeah. what I mean? we take donations and the crazy thing is is too they're kind of like dudes where like they'll hook up and then the next morning they're the ones that are gone they're like beat it dude bro i don't even <laughs> like, understand friends be like oh like and i'm like it's sad and like, man. they go what they wanted they're like i kind of feel a little violated <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to us. I don't know what's in the water. <laughs> in Australia. You're like, hey, good on you, mate. <laughs> see you later. Uh, That's so funny. I see what 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 I see that Spring Fest. You guys are playing in Salt Lake City. How's Salt Lake City vibes? Oh, that it was Spring cool. Fest. We, that was that was all right. That was cool. Not that cool. Yeah, that was the, the one we just did, right? With Rick Ross. Salt Lake City. Yeah. Salt Lake City's Salt Lake great. City we love them. Yeah, great. we yeah. they always yeah. have a good. No, Salt Lake, yeah, Salt Lake City is dope. Did you guys hang with Rick? No, <laughs> no. He, he came in and out. He did his thing and he bounced. Yeah, he was in there and he was out of there. But he, yeah, his show's dope. He's great. He lives in Miami with- uh, he, lives in he lives in Atlanta too. He just hit us up. He's trying to do a PBS, a monster. We sponsor the, the professional bull riding. 
and he's trying to get a what? He's trying to get bulls to his house because he owns this crazy ranch. What? That's what we heard. He owns yeah. a huge yeah. ranch. He's trying to get a PBR event at his house. That would be oh, sick. Like, well, maybe we can't get a PBR event, but we can get you bulls and bull riders. But it's kind of being worked on right now. So if it happens, I guess that's we get so you guys sick. out that's there. That's insane. Oh, that would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's got a lot of toys. Yeah. No, a friend of mine bought him a bull. Yeah, like they did a contract with him what? and they literally, I guess the bull was only like eight grand or something because he did research. Now, like, I forget who it was. Maybe it was, it couldn't have been Travis Scott. Somebody else on that level Pistone. was like, well, they, they wanted a draft. So he went and sourced a draft and he's like, dude, the draft's like 90 grand. He's like, I'm not getting him a draft. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get him a so bull. So people now, because Rick Ross got a bull, people that know <laughs> that are like, it was through Ethica. People that are doing deals are like, this rapper's one fucking animal. <laughs> He's trying what? to level up, huh? <laughs> level up. Um, I just want an elephant. Oh there was when I wake one. Up it was one uh, before oh, we monkey. end. Danny does these quick. These are like quick, but Danny does these like lightning round things. But I just wanted to have a quick vibe out session because I just noticed I've got these basketball shorts on that have every basketball logo. Yep. So it's finals. It's finals time. And you guys, any oh, any man. of your teams? <laughs> No, I don't really no. want to talk about it. Yeah, we're in a rebuilding right. session. Yeah. I know me and Tim talk about it a lot, but the Lakers were diehard <laughs> yeah. Lakers. I mean, fan. rebuilding. Or, I think we should just sure. shoot them all and start yeah. over. Yeah, bro. starting from everybody. The trade everybody. <laughs> Started from LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But, oh, I know Tim. Tim and I yeah. were talking because he's okay. a big fan. Yeah, it is no. weird. You know, I'm glad that you know whatever happens happens. But I'm. Uh, it's uh, what a weird, what a weird time to be a Laker fan, eh, bro. <laughs> Feel like I'm still in pandemic. Yeah, and then the championship we won was cool, but not really, not really. Oh, we'll always get the bubble. Like it It'll be a little, you know. Asterisk. Yeah. yeah. You but reckon we're... LeBron's gonna finish his career career at Cleveland? No. You think he finished? I think he'll wait for Bronny in L.A. Wait for Bronny. How many years? Well, that is makes that? That two makes years. Sense. Well, oh, okay. because they tanked. Now they can. Yeah. yeah. Now they can hire his yeah. son. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the right. All a part of the really. That would be pretty insane, right? Yeah. They, and that will be the first father son. That's crazy. That's ever played in NBA history. Yeah. Well, they're not going to win a championship that year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not. Uh, and look at the two teams that are playing: the Celtics and the Yo, Golden and State wait, Warriors, did, bro. Didn't, didn't Shaq say he'd coach him for like 20? Dude, he said some number. He said, I'll "Oh, coach. I don't even know." So imagine. If Shaq's coaching. You got Little Bronny. You got Bronny, and then Magic is the owner. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> that should be a, a reality TV show alone, just there and Shaq Genie is so Bus. Fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, he's wait, funny, that's he's coaching. He can't be on TV. <laughs> Between Shaq and Charles Barkley, this guy's oh, oh bro, it's it's funny too. Like he he DJs, and we were just at festival at EDC. <laughs> And like he comes to like Fisher, he's like a fan of Fisher's. He like comes to watch Fisher's set. Like it's like, and then he goes and does his what? Set. Dude, he's awesome. <laughs> he looks like we, him and Gronkowski look like they party and yeah. we would party Gronk's with them. Cool. Gronk, Gronk's cool. Yeah. Gronk's a good time. Yeah, he looks like he's yeah. a good time. He's well, the, the the bad party's the hardest, and then it's down the line. But wow, Gordy's in the boss is in charge. Wow. Yeah, dad runs the ship. Really Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's athletic family too. Yeah. The yeah. Brothers. Like two, to, or no, three pro football players, yep. and then the other one was like. And look at the son. Yeah. Like even the boys, the next generation, they're all beasts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys ready for this lightning round question? Let's when you go. say lightning, lightning, yeah. like, like was, <laughs> Well, I guess any of you can really answer, or all of you. Is it in slow mo lightning? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Cool. Just fast as you can, guys. Mm. Just fast as you can. Imagine there's someone trying to take your order. Yep. At uh, Denny's. Oh, it's on. Fast. You got to fast. That fast. That's okay. fast. Okay, what is the best city for food in the U.S.? Ooh. Orange County. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he said city. City. Oh, sorry. Orange County uh, counts, right? Or no? Yeah, I guess. City? Oh. What's the city? City um, of Orange County. The city of Orange County. <laughs> city of Orange County. Uh, Let's say Garden Grove. Garden Grove. Have That's them. little Saigon right there. I mean, they have the have best Korean. Korean, you want, dude. Korean so yeah, whatever. I'm a huge Korean barbecue fan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Garden they have the best, the best pho. Yakiniku, mm -hmm. shabu shabu. We Shout out to Mainland. What's up, girl? <laughs> okay, what's uh, your favorite Main festival Lang. to play? Dude. It's really bad lightning, guys. Uh, I'm going to go with <laughs> Cali Roots. Cali Roots. It's more like a hail. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go California, with, Cali Roots. Uh, Cali, Cali Roots, Roots is the biggest one for sure. The, the ones that pay us the, the most. Next. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. 
If you had a monster flavor, what would it taste like? Oh. What would the Common King's flavor be? Ooh, <sighs> tropical Thunder. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Um, I like that. A little bit of lychee. You guys don't have a lychee one, do you? Huh? Ooh, Think about that, guys. Lychee sounds right. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. With the little, pina colada. Little passion fruit. A little passion fruit. Mm. Like a pog monster lychee. That would be it. We're totally stereotyping Boom. ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with pineapples and coconuts. and a little umbrella yeah. right on the tip. When you open it up, the umbrella All opens right. up. Oh, Next that question. would be sick. As that would be sick. Can, an umbrella is not going to get that pop. Yeah. <laughs> like, Guys, can I talk to Mark? Like so when it, when true. you open it up, the umbrella unfolds, and you sip out uh, of the straw. <laughs> Just send um, it with the case. Mark yeah, can put yeah, the straw. So, do you guys have uh, in an important charity or cause you want to shout out? Actually, we do. We're just starting one. Um, Kinole. Yeah. Um, Foundation. It's a Native Hawaiian organization that we're just um, we're starting to get with. a part of, be a part of, yep. and, uh, and giving back. So it's Kinole. Yeah. Shout out yep. to. Within the academy, we're trying to start an academy for Polynesian to with artists or anyone, and just trying to give back to the community and be kind of ambassadors for them. So yeah. shout out to Kinole. That's cool. And low key, hit me up on that because I I had to a lot of foundation work, and we have a, a separate foundation called Find Your Grind that's uh, helped young kids find career paths and jobs. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's century, sick. We partner with a bunch of different musicians. Will A.M. like sits on our board for that, so we can. Yeah, one hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I know you guys had to play covers for quite a long time, right? <laughs> to make oh, it. I like this question. Yeah. This really. Bro. Uh, so what was the first song that actually hit that wasn't a cover? Oh. Th th that the people enjoyed. I was going to ask what your favorite cover song was. Yeah. Okay, first, what's your favorite cover song? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! What's I'd have to say stop. poker. The face. range of music. No, in I'd that. have to say yeah, yeah. Don't stop believing. Don't that stop was a good time. one. And then we would do um, Neil Diamond's uh, "Sweet Caroline." Oh wow! The crowd oh, would go yeah. nuts. Yeah. Then Guns yeah. N' Roses, mm -hmm. Sweet Child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, uh, Guns N' Roses medley. Kind of feeling out the crowd it's, and it's kind of even harder because when they look at us, they're like, "What?" They don't expect. Yeah. They don't, oh, they they don't expect it. What? And then Jr's like, his vocals open up, and then everybody just forgets where they are. What is this? Sweet. Oh yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> okay, what's those? the? Uh, it's I know the monster. Yeah, where do you get those? <laughs> I don't know, but I would like a size fourteen in those. Thanks. <laughs> Who's the your dream artist to play a concert series with? Dang, we've been fortunate. We've dude, been on so tour with uh, a couple people. of already. We've done a show with Bruno. Bruno would be fun to do a run with. Yeah, Bruno would cool. be for sure. On yep. top of the, his game right now. Oh yeah, yeah. bro, he's yeah. he's killing it. All cylinders. Silk Sonic. No wrong. They're bad. Yeah, uh, Pharrell would be fun. Nerd. We were big Neptunes. Nerd fans. Yeah, sick. They love them. Um, what's the best show you've ever played? The one we didn't mess up. <laughs> it was like I think back in ninety nine. <laughs> it was a flawless <laughs> show. Ninety nine. Oh uh, no no no. Seventy two years. I'd have ago. to say the best one was uh, was when we opened up for Bruno in Hawaii. Sick. I yeah, mean, at the Loa Stadium. Atmosphere, environment, and yeah, then just fifty thousand people. Yeah. 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 It's, it was like kind of a, a home again. away from home, so we got to yeah, come sick. back home and play for all the friends and family in a stage like that. It's the biggest stage on yeah, the island. Sick. And Bruno Smith, but yeah, it's just everyone lighters up. The whole yeah, stage wow. was just filled. Yeah, that's Lit. energy, right? Yeah, that was a lot Lit. of energy. It was it was fun. Um, So I did some research and- Oh God. And I read that you guys are, have all royal bloodlines to distinctive paths mm -hmm. for your native islands. Sacrificial yeah. regions. Too. Yep. And that made me wonder: Are you guys also friend uh, fans of Game of Thrones? Like we I are, are. Yeah. <laughs> we were. I was wondering that was where this intro. was going, Dan. <laughs> we had the the Game of Thrones was one of our intros for one of our tours. Oh wow! Yep, we played. That was how we introed ourselves. Uh, that was yeah. kind of like how we watched really? that on the bus for how long? Yeah, we couple yeah, tours. Been couple, that. Yeah, yeah, we, we binge couple watched tours. that on the bus. Yeah. It was funny. Uh, Jason Momoa, he's a he, he was a good friend of ours, and we he asked us to play for his thirtieth birthday when uh, him and Lila Coy, Lisa Bonet, we were they were together. But um, he told us about the story when he got that role. He went to audition. For he that. went to audition, and he uh, just no got um, what do you call? Not a vis no vasectomy. Physical. Yeah, yeah, he just got a vasectomy. He got, vasectomy. His thing snapped, he got right? snapped the day before. So his agent called him. He's like, bro. 
there's this thing called Game of Thrones. They said it's going to be the baddest show ever. And he's like, I don't know. He's like, bro, he said, I just got a vasectomy. I just snipped my balls. There's no way. And the doctor said, I'm better in for at least two weeks. And he's like, bro, you got to do this. I'm telling you, this role will change your career. And he's like, fuck, fine, I'll do it. Bro, he went in there and then everybody was sitting at the panel for the casting call. Um, and he decided to do a haka. Wow. Uh, pulled yeah. up his hair, freaking, and just full on. The whole time, bro. And then they were just like, what the fuck? For, I was just for a minute and 30 seconds, just doing the haka. That was his, that was his audition. He went outside and then he just dropped. He said, all the stitches came oh. out, everything. But oh, wow. he got the role. He got the role. That's he got the role. Got and that was role. it. The rest was history. Set the tone. Just, yeah, um, that's how we used to roll back in the ancient, just, you know, village to village and just conquer. I like that's that. Awesome. We do well, that's it. what you guys are doing now. Conquer in every concert yeah. venue yeah. in your exactly. way, right? <laughs> that's what we try to do. Yep. Especially with this new album we're dropping as well. So Sick. When's the new album <clears> come out? Uh, end of this year, we're doing a 22 song album. Boom. Yeah, cool we're album. super cool stoked. Album. Dual album. Yep. Well, we appreciate you guys a lot here at Monster Energy, Common Kings, and you guys just keep on keeping on. Bro, Hell big yeah. shout out yeah. to Monster Energy, man. We've been part of the family for a Bloody little over ten. a year, man. Yeah. You guys are amazing. And uh, look forward wouldn't want to be with any other <laughs> Monster Energy drink. Company. Love it. That's a wrap. Yeah.